sing to Jesus, pierce the scepter, pierce the throne. Alleluia, here's the triumph, here's the victory alone. Hark the sounds of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to to Almighty God God, and and to you, my brothers brothers and sisters, sisters, that that I have greatly greatly sinned sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in in what what I have done done, and what I have failed failed to do, do, through my my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And and on on earth, earth, peace to to people of goodwill. We We praise you. you. We bless bless you. you. We adore you. you. We glorify you. you. We We give you thanks thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God, heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only only begotten begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the, of the Father, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now Israel, hear the statutes and the decrees, which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land, which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it, Observe them carefully, for thus will give you evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statues and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people, for what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us, whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statues and decrees that are ju- as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. The one who does justice will live in the presence Presence of the the Lord. Lord. Whoever walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. The one one who who does does justice justice will will live in the the presence presence of of the Lord. Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor take up a reproach against his neighbor, 
by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. The one who does justice will live, will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent, whoever does these things shall never be disturbed. The one who does justice will live, live in the presence of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alternation or shadow caused by the change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah, 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 Father will to give us birth by the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creature. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders but instead eat a meal with unclean hands. He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. From within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Back when uh, I was in the seminary, uh, my buddies and I used to love living in community, 
And one of the things that we would do in the evenings, would we all had uh, lawn chairs beside our doors. And we'd get our lawn chairs out, and we'd put them out in front of our door, and we called that area of our hallway uh, the back porch. Had to get a little creative uh, in how you have fun in the seminary. Uh, but it was basically like a hotel, you know, where all these rooms are. Uh, but there we were on our back porch. It was great after a long day of classes and ministry uh, to unwind. We'd share a couple laughs. And um, my buddy, Gabe, uh, Gabe Mills, he is from Alabama. He drove a UPS truck for 20 years uh, before entering the seminary. Uh, but when I met Gabe, one of the things that we loved to do uh, was listen to music. We had a love for Led Zeppelin, uh, and then we really had a love for dead guy country music. And so our job on the back porch uh, was to play this music. So all the Johnny Cashes, the Merle Haggards, the Waylon Jennings of the world. Uh, and then our, our job, as, as we were in charge of the tunes on the back porch, uh, we came across this song by Johnny Cash and uh, Billy Joe Shaver. And the chorus of the song uh, went, Aunt, no two ways about it, you just can't beat Jesus Christ. And I loved it because whenever Gabe and I would, would be in class, we'd learn something wonderful about the faith, uh, we would learn the teaching of the dignity of the human person. Uh, we'd see a, a really cool connection in Scripture class, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And we'd always whisper whenever we got excited about learning something new, uh, which was rare for us, or, or which is a lot for us because we didn't know much going in. Uh, so we were always having our mind blown. Uh, but we'd whisper to each other, man, ain't no way, two ways about it. Uh, you just can't beat Jesus Christ. And it's a perfect line, a, for, a perfect time to say that line is when Jesus encounters the arrogant Pharisees. Whenever they challenge Jesus, there's about to be something awesome to occur. You know, he's going to call them out uh, and, and speak to a deeper truth that will help us in the faith. You know, we see today that encounter where Jesus dismantles the Pharisees. They're disgusted with the disciples uh, who are eating with unclean and unwashed hands. We know from the explanation that it was part of the Jewish custom uh, to eat with clean hands. And so these Pharisees arrogantly look at Jesus and his followers, his disciples, and ask them why they don't follow the tradition of the elders. You've got to watch out. Because whenever the Pharisees challenge Jesus, um, we know they will not beat him. Now as we look at the context of when they say this, uh, it's pretty fascinating. And we look back, this is the very beginning of, of Mark 6 today that we look at. Uh, let's look at Mark 7, these tired disciples and what they've been going through. You know, we know um, Mark 6 starts with Jesus, who was rejected by the people of his hometown. People who scoff at his teaching and say, isn't he just a carpenter? Does Jesus stop loving? No. He continues to move forward. He goes out to town to town and he sends 12, two by two, with nothing but sandals and a staff. And they spend their time preaching and teaching repentance, anointing and curing the sick. After this, in Mark 6, we hear he and his apostles hear of the death of an intimate friend and cousin, John the Baptist. Does Jesus stop loving? No. He lays his cousin in the tomb, and he feeds 5,000 hungry people. He walks on water. He challenges his father, followers to have faith, to not be afraid. And we close the chapter Mark, of Mark 6 with him healing more sick people in Genesaret. And the poor and the weak and the vulnerable are all reaching out just to have a piece of his cloak. And that's what brings us to this moment. This moment in Mark's gospel. All of this when the disciples are tired from loving, from reaching out to the poor, from healing. We have these Pharisees who are a little upset with their dirty fingernails. Does Jesus stop loving then? No. He demands that the Pharisees look a little deeper into their faith. He challenges them to look into their heart and to name the truth at what is happening. He quotes the book of Isaiah, and he says, you know, religion is more than lip service. It's more than us just doing external niceties or saying external niceties. The real, true religion is a love in the heart. We hear Jesus say, you disregard God's command, but cling to human tradition. And I don't know why our gospel today cuts it out in the lectionary, 
Uh, but Jesus gives an example of this. The Pharisees are ignoring the commandment to honor their father and their mother uh, in the practice of the korban. You know, in the Jewish time period, they could have set aside uh, finances or set aside property or goods for the temple. And Jesus sees them manipulating the, this, this practice because they're setting aside what belongs to their parents, what belongs to their father and their mother. The resources they could have used to take care of people, they're using instead selfishly by claiming it for the temple. So the Pharisees are actually failing to follow the true commandments given by God that we hear today in our first reading from Moses in Deuteronomy. They're ignoring the commandment to honor their father and their mother uh, because they'd rather set aside these finances to glorify the temple. The challenge for us today is to live what our second reading calls a pure religion, one that takes care of the vulnerable while also worshiping God. We see the pure religion in the letter to James is one that takes care of the orphans and the widows in their affliction and also keeps one unstained by the world. It's only the heart of Jesus that shows us how to love in a pure religion, and he does this on the cross. His heart dwells perfectly in the middle of the vertical beam of a worship to God and a horizontal beam of reaching out to our neighbor. The vertical beam points toward God, worshiping God. The horizontal beam is his relentless outreach to the afflicted. In a world that wants to throw the vertical beam away and make our, our love only something humanitarian, we have the duty to keep it there. In a world that also may want to do away with the horizontal beam and hate their neighbor uh, in order to worship God, uh, we have to hold that tension as well. We must always, like Jesus, attempt to hold these vertical and horizontal beams together as our Lord Jesus does. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth of, all of all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, God born, born of the of Father, Father before all ages, ages God from God, God, life from light, true God, God from true God, God begotten not made, made consubstantial with, with the Father. Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the, the life, life of the, of the world, world to come. To come. Amen. Amen. In confidence in our Lord Jesus, we now give him our prayers. For the church, that we may be doers of the word, putting our faith into action as we fulfill the mission Christ has left us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may work to end arms sales around the world and bring a just and peaceful world to fruition, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all the residents of our country, that they may be given the opportunity and the encouragement to reach their potential, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That God may purify the hearts of all, driving out what defiles us, protecting those who suffer from greed, malice, theft, and deceit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For students, teachers, administrators, and staff at the beginning of a new school year, that their commitment to the vocation of education 
may be rewarded by an atmosphere of fruitful learning, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Almighty God, as we offer these our prayers to you, we ask that you answer them according to your will and help us accept your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his name, name for our, our good, good and the good of all his holy Lord church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, 
precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life to us, to all the world. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. I am the living spring of eternal life. You that drink from me shall not thirst again. Precious body, pray. Precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass has ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Sent forth by God's blessing, our true faith confessing, the people of God from His dwelling take leave. God's sacrifice ended, oh now be extended, the fruits of this mass in all hearts who believe the seed of Christ teaching our inner souls reaching shall blossom in action for God and for all his grace shall inside us his love shall